I don't want to just to sit, I want to fight. Ukrainian journalist and political activist Viktor Tregubov says the battle for Ukraine is a struggle for his country's survival and dignity. He spoke with us Tuesday from the North District of Kyiv, closest to the front line of a 40 mile long convoy of Russian military vehicles bearing down right now on the Ukrainian capital. Victor, are you in any danger right now? There is theoretical chance that my home will be hit by a rocket. Uh, but uh, that's not uh, really big. Kiev, you know, Kiev is big and they uh, just don't have so, so, ma so many rockets. So, yeah, there is some risk, but I cannot say that uh, I feel myself really endangered. Tregubov says he noticed a shift in Russian tactics after Monday's negotiations between Ukraine and Russia. Russian forces before posing as liberators of Ukraine from its government and steering clear of harming civilians. But now he says Russia is using terror tactics. They not care is that uh, civilian infrastructure or not. In some cases, they deliberately attack civilian infrastructure. He says after the 2014 Russian invasion of the Crimean Peninsula in Ukraine, his people now are prepared to fight back. Regular citizens joining the Ukrainian military to defend their country. That uh, emotion, that frustration create hatred and hatred create a will to fight and, and will to be prepared for the next attack. Victor, what are you hoping for right now? I feel that if we will win, uh, we will change everything. Ukraine tried uh, tried to throw away Russian influence for generations, and we want uh, at last to get rid from all our toxic uh, heritage that Ukraine may become part of European Union and maybe NATO. We just want to be a part of European family again. We just want to be part of West again. The fight for a nation Ukrainians can be proud of, and one they can continue to call their own. For News Channel 3, I'm Jake Gracia. We mentioned Trey Gabov is a Ukrainian journalist. In the Kyiv Independent, he is sharing how foreigners can help Ukraine. To see his tips, head to our website, kesq.com.